Hello and welcome to Las Vegas, or should I say welcome back. We did some C open earlier this week, and now we're doing some B open. We're riding in the Xfinity car here with our OSR setups, and we've got the Q setup in now for qualifying. Feels like it's uh, pretty good. I've always been pretty happy with the OSR setups. What the hell? Almost the point. It's clear. Watch the the way way line. Line. Got and qualifying. Um, despite being free setups, it usually gets the job done pretty well, so... Get out here and see what we can do. Hopefully get a good run to the line first and foremost. And, uh, prevent the thing from snapping if we can. There's gonna be a little cold. Green, green, green. Okay. No trouble there, though. Lots of pull to the left uh, when lifting off the throttle. As long as uh, you can keep that in check, it feels pretty good. Your water temperature's creeping up. Look at the uh, left sides near the apron there, but it pulls us to the left, so it actually feels pretty good. We're in the sevens, which I don't think is going to be pull time or anything. But should be pretty good starting spot, I think. We'll give it another go around, see if uh, we got anything else we can get out of it. I'm gonna try bigger lifts this time, and uh, not quite enough. We're gonna push right up toward the wall, so that's all right. I think uh, first lap was always gonna be the better one anyway. Knocked to P2 as the number two car has a great lap. I haven't been anywhere near the fives yet, so I'll definitely take a point seven and P2 for now. Huge gap between second and third right now. We'll do a practice pit in. Just Not bad at all. Alright, so, so get it parked and hopefully remember to put in our race setup. We'll do that right away. We're really starting to get a big collection of these. These are all, pretty much all of these OSR setups. I've got like one Kansas set that uh, Daniel shared, I think. And then like one twin ring setup that Gavin uh, sent out for a league race, I think, to celebrate one of his milestones. But other than that, just a folder full of uh, OSR. So that's pretty much all I use. Man, I, I always feel like I'm sponsored by them or something, but no, they're just free setups that work pretty well. Okay, so, Your engine temperatures are okay. it's a good option to have. Now we got another two minutes to wait, and 13's not here, so rather than sit here and wait, I'll go ahead and, and uh, pause the recording. And we'll rejoin when it's time to get gridded. So I'll see you in a minute. Alright, we're back. And we've got the race set up in. And we're ready to grid. We did end up P2. Uh, the 14 was able to narrow that gap quite a bit. Between 2nd and 3rd. And the 15 had a pretty solid lap as well. So not quite as uh, big of a gap between the front runners. But uh, we still end up P2. Be able to, we were able to keep the spot. Not going to need uh, the dash, so I'll go ahead and turn that off and get session last lap ready. Something I really want to work on with these Xfinity cars, the tire wear is usually just such a huge thing, and I'm never really any good at saving the tires, so I'm really going to focus in this time. I think you want to keep it pretty low on the track. Down on your left and up on your right, or vice versa? Use it, close your stagger to tighten up, you open up your stagger to loosen it up. But uh, yeah, I think you want to keep it low on the track, down or up, yeah, get that rest. rotation. Yeah. I think that's going to be the best way to you would go keep the tires the happy. To do it in small increments. I did a little bit of a longer run in so practice the left, and uh, the air temp is had myself Fahrenheit. on my right rear, so that was pretty good. 
We'll have to make sure I don't get over loose or anything, but I don't think that should be an issue. You need to I think we should be okay. The outside lane. Just keep it smooth and probably have some uh, good looking tires if I can <laughs> if I can do it right. See what gear are we gonna be starting in? It kind of looks like a kind of looks. Sorry, I'm not good at shifting. Still working on uh, figuring out how to shift this thing. If you heard me pull in on my shifter a bunch of times. Looking like a first gear start, but I'll roll around in second so I'm not burning quite as much fuel because we can make it a little bit past halfway, but not too far. I we'll want to leave the uh, options open a little bit, maybe save a little bit while we can. Hopefully have a clean race and uh, even get some green flag pit stops. We'll see about that. It's looking like according to Race Lab, which uh, says 1.6k strength of field here, I have to finish second or better in order to gain any eye rating, which is kind of hilarious. Uh, so hopefully we can do that, but I'm not going to be upset if I get a nice top five and uh, lose eye rating, is what it is. Uh, we do have restart zones. Okay. So at least I know roughly when we uh, are going to get started here. Green, green, green. Now open. Don't beat the leader to the line. The next car's the leader. I don't want to give myself a black flag. Inside. Still inside. Still inside. Clear inside. All right. Able to hold off the 14. Car low on the track. Easy on the throttle, not overdriving it. And we're off and going. One lap completed. I try to be gentle on those bumps. Get on the throttle real gently. I'm okay with the two pulling away a little bit. If it happens, it happens. I think we should be able to keep up with them decently enough. And uh, if we're better on the tires, that'll be good for us, I think. So like I said, I've, I've in the past been not so great with the uh, the tire wear in the Xfinity car. So really trying to uh, get better with it. Not too much pressure from behind, thankfully. They're too wide behind us, but three-tenths back. Not too concerned about it right now. Still got a little bit of draft from the two, helping us go just that little bit faster on the straights. Trying to oh, two gets the wall there. I think unless that was just prediction code, predicting incorrectly. But what I'm trying to do is when it, whenever you lift off the throttle in this car with this setup, it pulls to the left pretty good. So I'm letting the car do that and uh, letting it pull to the left without having to use my steering wheel too much and I'm hoping that'll really help out the right f or yeah the right front since I'm uh, doing that without using my steering wheel and then uh, kind of being real patient on the throttle as well being a little bit aggressive with it trying to carry some speed but not uh, slam it on the throttle midway through the corner kind of wait until we're past midway before I really start gassing it up so that way hopefully it's on the right rear instead of the right front at least uh, more on the right rear than it would be otherwise got the five up on us and a green car 
Hopefully they recognize that I'm going pretty gentle through the corner, and if they want to get past, they will do what they're doing right now. So, it seems like they, they get it. They're cool just going around the outside, it seems. I'm not going to fight them. In fact, they're uh, clearing us. We'll do a big lift here. They can go on their way. That is perfectly fine. Playing for the long run, because so far it's looking like we might get one. Good stuff. I was a little worried and lower strength of field here. It is uh, Sunday night. Pretty late. Thankfully got a uh, about 20-something car field, I think. Not too bad at all. Keeping it low. Let's see if it pays off. Traditionally, I've had some issues with uh, a couple of these tracks. Usually, mile and a half are kind of good for me, but the Xfinity car's kind of been tough on me. I know I've had some issues with this specific combo before. I know Kansas sometimes can be rough on me in, in the Xfinity car. Just never uh, quite races exactly how I've expected in the past, and I've tried to learn from it and see if I can make improvements. We'll see how this approach works here today. Tonight, I guess. Definitely no sun out right now. Kind of had the late night schedule lately. Been up late, but that's kind of my peak hour anyway. It's when the sun's down. Hopefully we'll see the uh, 2 and the 5 come back to us later. All of a sudden maybe we'll uh, start catching back up to them a little bit. I know in practice whenever I was running, it really started getting tight, especially in 3 and 4 through the center. So I'm trying to avoid that feeling as much as I can. Got lap traffic up there, it's the 16. Wonder what happened there. We have a thanks in the in the text chat. No yellow though, so perhaps not a thanks uh, of sarcasm. Coming back to the uh, 5 already, looks like. Really like to see that. And we have a nice big gap behind us as well. No brake needed. Speeds are uh, high enough here at Las Vegas. And I guess the banking high enough. Really don't need that uh, brake, at least so far. Maybe we'll get real tight later and want to use a little bit of brake on entry. But right now, lifting off big is doing plenty. Almost getting to the inside of the five. Not quite though. You can see how much more speed we've got through the corner. You can tell he's gotten tight. Inside. Still there. A bit of a crossover. Still there. Hold your Lift off big since we're entering shallow. No need to hurt the tires Outside. to keep moving forward. Because uh, saving the tires has been working for us so far. Hopefully we get it done. You're back in Outside. Drives hard to our outside. Not really ready to give it up yet, I guess. It's going to slow us both down. He's on the number two's team. Really hurting my right front, having to enter sh more shallow. But I don't think we'll have to deal with the guy for too long. It really seems like his uh, tire wear is 
been not so great for him. Clear up top. There he goes over driving it. And uh, we're good. I don't think we're going to see them again for a while. Unless I mess something up pretty bad, I think. So the two got himself a one second lead while we dealt with that. See if we can climb back forward at all. Gained a tenth already on the one second that we saw on the relative. Got plenty of time. It's only lap 18. Even if we plan to pit on lap 45, still not even halfway to that. that lap was at so, definitely time to be patient, consistent, smooth, all those types of things. Who seems to be doing a pretty decent job of saving, though? Not falling off quite like the 5 was. 5 definitely pushed hard early. You can see as they uh, as they passed us early. They were uh, really driving hard and then fighting on our outside a little bit. So that's not too surprising. The 2's been out in the clear though. Probably able to hit a more preferable line. Eight tenths now behind. We're taking a higher line, which is interesting. I wonder if there's, they have a looser setup, maybe. That might be a little harder to drive. Especially early on, perhaps. But maybe allows them to uh, drive a little bit harder. I know that uh, in my practice, though, I did get on the right rear, surprisingly. So you never know, this thing could get loose later. We'll see. We'll see how the car changes. Coming up to lap traffic again. Didn't we pass this guy or did we just never catch him? I don't remember, to be honest. I don't remember if we ever caught him the first time or not. <laughs> Too focused on... Uh, Racing with the five for a little bit. That lap was at 31.6. That feels pretty good though, so long as we're not overdriving it. Doing what we need it to do. He's getting loose. I think he does have a looser setup. Maybe it's the opposite. Maybe that loose setup will help you be fast early and get away with it for longer. But maybe at the end of the run, that's really going to hurt him because he's not going to have any grip out of the corner. We're feeling great. Car still has plenty of grip for me, and we're within half a second now. It's getting bigger in our windshield. Good sign. Exactly what I was hoping to do here today. Be good on the tires when I'm usually not very capable of doing so. And we're just uh, a little bit over halfway through the first run, so we got a lot more time still. Yeah, he's having serious handling issues. It was all over that, uh, that corner. Get up to him, try to get him on an exit. Probably the safest way to do it. Especially if uh, he's having handling issues. That uh, 16 up there is having handling issues too, though. Saw some smoke. Just gonna have to be careful approaching these guys. 
Make sure they've got the cars under control as we try to make our way by. Huge gap behind us. Five has fallen off hard, and yet they are still in three, uh, three place, I was going to say. Yeah, that's the English language. Good job. <laughs> three place. He was getting really tight now. Oh, boy. I was worried he was going to go up there and hit the wall. Is he letting us go? Maybe. Outside. Wasn't quite sure. We're being patient. Don't need to get it done right away. Still there. Clear up top. Oh no. They're down on the apron. We should be okay. He was up there on the high side. Clear high. It looked like they got tight maybe. We've just, we're just killing him on uh, mid-corner and exit. He got big loose back there again. Very satisfied with how my car is handling right now. Especially when looking at some of the other guys around us. Really hope we can keep it green, though. Lots of, with all these guys having handling issues, we could definitely see a yellow flag fly here. Or you know it. In fact, the two already over a second behind us. Big fall off late in the run here. God, where is the 16 going? He's self spinning on the <laughs> on the front stretch. Did not see that coming. Entered much higher because I was afraid he was going to come back on track or something. But we're good. We're just fine. All is well. Coming up on about 15 laps before we need green flag pit stops. Definitely going to go long, though. Uh -oh. Just in case we get a caution. I think it's, uh, we're going to have a good enough lead. That we can afford to lose a little bit on optimal strategy. And remove some of the risk involved with coming in before other people. We're in a really good spot right here. Just gonna make sure I continue to hit my marks. Don't kill the tires. Be smooth and let's uh, let the tire advantage bring us our speed. I think we're in good shape if we're able to do that. You've just done a 31.9. Of course, just a uh, 1.6k strength of field here tonight, so. I am unfortunately the number one car. Two's been having a pretty good run though, just maybe pushed a little bit too hard. We'll see how my handling changes too, who knows, maybe here in the last ten laps of, uh, of the tire run or something this thing's gonna go wild on me. Definitely was for some other guys. So it still could be in our future. Still hitting pretty good times though. We got some green that lap. As we were faster than the lap before. Good consistency. Keep them coming. We got someone who has pit here. I'll give you the bottom here. The car inside. Clear inside. Alright. Making sure he knows so we can have a clean exchange. He was definitely much, much faster, so I wanted to get him by me. I knew he was going to catch me real quick. Into that corner. It's another reason I want to stay out longer, too, though, is guys who have pit going past guys that are slower could result in some action some incidents some yellow flags so even more reason to stay out uh, be ready for something to change 
1.5 ahead of P2. Or it still feels great. I may be feeling a hint of that looseness that guys could be feeling. Mid, late mid corner there. But I think having uh, been patient on the throttle this whole run has helped out uh, keep the tire heat out of the right rear a little bit. So we're still getting enough grip. Have some of that, some of that speed through that part of the corner. About 18 laps of fuel left. You've just done a 31.9. Gonna keep my eye out for anybody else that's uh, on fresh tires coming through. Higher and higher chance of seeing guys on the fresh tires as we go on here. Two's kind of uh, steadied out on our pace at about a second and a half. It's at 1.7 right now. Kind of starting to pick up the pace a little bit. Starting to push just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit. Since we're getting close to pit stop time, might as well use the rest of the tires that we've saved up for about now. Really take advantage of the fact we have some uh, some good stick okay, in them still. Keep it up. The pit window is now open. Pit window is now open allegedly. I think we come in about 51. I think that seems safe, but we'll watch what the guys behind us do as well. That could change my mind. About 51 sounds. Pretty solid to me. Cap to noon behind is now two point one seconds. That feels fast. Lots of green on the session last lap, which is great news. No big fall off for us. I'm sure the lap speeds right now are much slower than like the laps at the start of the run, but we're not hemorrhaging like a tenth every lap or anything like that. It's, it's really good, what we want to want to try to avoid. So keeping it down low, next to that white line, that's been working really well for us. Through 42 now, almost a halfway. That lap was at 31.9. Over two seconds behind us. Love to see it. Almost seven seconds to third. You know, let a brother know when you do that. 13. Uh oh. Something going on. Make some contact. That was at 32.0. Even more reason to stay out longer. They are uh, having issues with one another. I might even go longer than 51, depending on what the guys behind us do. Tires still feel great. I mean, look, we're almost a tenth up on the last lap. I am pushing a little bit harder every lap right now. That's a pretty good chunk of time to gain. Lap times are pretty consistent. The answer noon behind is now 2.6 seconds.
really curious what our tires are. They, uh, if I am going to be on that right rear, or if uh, I'm on the right front. Five going for the optimal strategy, right at 45. Look out for them. If you do go uh, caution free. So far is looking pretty good as a possibility. Great race so far. Very clean from what I've been able to see. No cautions, of course. Big factor on deciding when I come in is going to be what that number two does. Obviously, he's our big competition right now. Closest to us on track. Don't want him to get too much of an undercut on us. It's been pretty fun to drive. I'm, I'm really enjoying kind of wrapping the bottom line like we are. Oh, just looking at the car exiting the pits. I almost hit the entry to turn one outside wall. Oops, don't do that. Gotta pay attention. Another thing we got to do is not speed if we do end up having our green flag pit stops here in a minute. Got to get slowed down. I'm going to go a little bit conservative on it because we don't really need to completely maximize our entry. Just uh, got to have a solid pit stop. And that should be good enough for us. I don't do something dumb and give myself a speeding penalty. I'll probably back up my marker of when I normally would plan to uh, start hitting the brakes to enter the pits and stuff. Normally I kind of look at that red mark on the wall that just went by on the outside. You start right. breaking a little bit before that. When it's actually time here. Thank you. And it's pretty close. And it's just about that time. The two has not come in yet though. Alright Colton, cup times are pretty consistent. It worries me a little. That was almost bad. Yeah, it's almost well. bad. I don't like to hear that. My tires are such shit. I smacked the wall. I didn't know how to do anything to recover it. Just smooshed back into place. Hmm. You got about four laps of fuel this left. This is when we were gonna pit, but we might just go to the end of the fuel run now, since you've got about five laps. We're almost fuel. out of fuel anyway. Went up to fifteen. Taking the bottom line for some reason, right in front of a much faster car. I guess he left the lane, though, so we're good. Alright, he's pit in behind us, so I think it's time for us to come in. We'll see if anybody gets uh, enough of an undercut. Pitting in here, pitting in. Easy now, easy now, easy now. Alright. Good it's stuff, good stuff. I'm happy with that. Okay, we'll fill you to Definitely you. took it gently, but uh, that's what we needed to do, so. Pit box in. Everything in. is checked. We estimate three Five, laps of fuel left. Three, two, one. Right here. Oof. Almost slid past the box. 5445. Look at that. So we were on the right rear quite a bit. Felt good though. I didn't have any issues with it. Drove just fine. That's it. Go. Your exit's clear. Don't cross the white line. Okay, don't spin it. Take uh close to the wall here, short way around. What place are we going to be in? There are some people that have stayed out, I believe. A 
we should still have some pretty good track position. E3. E3, alright. Definitely okay with that. Shorter run this time, too. So that's good news. You drive a little bit harder and not have to worry about it, but still not going to kill the tires or anything. Saving our tires the first half of the race really worked out, so don't see any issue with trying to do that a little bit more. Four and the 17 in front of us. We must have either pit really early and are on much older tires right now, or have not pit yet. We are on the lead lap here. Yes, the uh, 17, I see him now. He has not pit yet. We've got a good four seconds on the two, so we had a good stop. There goes the 17 down pit road. And uh, that is the four finally coming in for pit stop. So we will cycle back out to the lead. And uh, it's looking like we should have some clean, full green flag pit stops. Awesome. Great race. High strength of field could never. Sometimes these lower strength of fields with clean ones. Still time though. Still time for some weird stuff to happen. Heck, there could have been some weird stuff happening we just didn't know about. Okay, Colton. There's a car exit in the pits. Heads up. So the guy behind us is on one lap older tires. Right Shouldn't have any uh, issue holding them off, I don't think. Especially with the shorter run. Got to stay uh, out of trouble. I think we'll be just fine. Oh my god. <laughs> Speaking of trouble, that was scary. You guys entering, uh, going down to the apron on the entry of the corner. It was a little concerning, but we're fine. It's perfectly good. He stayed down there. Just, uh, you see something you don't expect when you're in a great position like this. Always a little bit of a a little bit of a worry. We got five seconds or so to the two. Might uh, take the time to run another one of these tomorrow or something. I don't think I'd record it, but maybe if uh, I find a higher participation race, I'll see how I can do. But I definitely wanted to make sure I did the combo once before the end of the week, because I like my mile and a half. I enjoy intermediates, so didn't want to miss out in case I find myself busy tomorrow. Or the week switches over, since tomorrow's Monday. So glad I could make it to this one. Really cool that uh, we had enough people late night to do a race. Just a little bit of a little paint down there and get it turned on mid mid exit. It's just fine. Twenty nine to go coming up. You're now in the lead. I think we're in a nice safe spot here where if a caution comes out, everybody's going to want to come in and get a set of tires, so we don't have that worrying situation where guys stay out. Of course, you never know. People love doing it sometimes. Sometimes you just get those drivers that are like, you know what? I've got 40 lap old tires, but who cares? I'm just going to sit right in front of the field on this restart. Everybody loves that. <laughs> sometimes you have to do it, and sometimes it makes sense. There's certain situations where it makes sense, but I see it happen a lot of times when it definitely does not make sense. And then you get really scary situations where guys are spinning their tires up on the restart because their tires are older than the sun, and uh, 
<laughs> it's uh, really not good. But like I said, I think uh, we've got enough laps on these tires now. You guys aren't going to want to do that. So that's hopefully one thing we also don't have to worry about. Hopefully a genuine appreciate it for that guy. We've got the four coming up on uh, four lap fresher tires. We'll give that to him whenever he gets here. I'm sure he, uh, he gets by us cleanly. Because he's going to be faster. No doubt. He stayed up longer than anybody, I'm pretty sure. That number four. Because he was in the lead for a little bit. We've got some laps led. Nice little pack of uh, cars ahead. I'm gonna have to watch out for. And I see some smoke, presumably from said pack. So that's a little worrying. Oh, it's just guy pitting. Okay, not sure why. We do have someone pitting there. You just done a thirty-one point two. Hopefully, this guy's patient uh, getting around us. He's definitely gonna be faster. But I just hope that he, uh, you know, maybe waits. Get us on exit or something. Is smart about it. Would appreciate that. I'll make it easy on him, of course. Got 24 to go at the line here. You've just done a 31.3. Maybe I should do like a crank it up segment. Next lap, I'll shut my stupid mouth. <laughs> You just have a lap of uh, engine noises. That'd be fun if I had like an actual like display I could put up. I'm not that technologically smart though. But hey, we'll uh, get past some lap traffic. I'll be quiet. That was a uh, 31.3. Car inside. Clear. Alright, that concludes that. I'll give you the bottom here. Car inside. Still there at the bottom. Good timing Clear. to come back from crank it up because I needed to let that guy know. Just giving him the bottom. Lap car had gone to the bottom for some reason, but no harm done there. Is what it is, so long as he's consistent, smooth about it. Lots of arrow push, did not expect that. Clean air gonna be a bigger thing than I expected, maybe. Because there was definitely uh, a little bit more tightness right there. Getting around, uh, or, you know, letting that guy around me. That's interesting. I always feel the arrow tight in the trucks, but it does exist in the uh, Xfinity as well. Something you gotta factor in. Of course it exists in all kinds of stuff. Like IndyCar, it's huge, but I don't run IndyCar all so much. Just mentioning the stuff that uh, I race a lot. Five and a half seconds back to the number two. A little bit of wiggling up ahead out of the 18, I think. Whoa, lots of smoke. Oh, that scary, dude. oh someone has nearly wrecked it, I think. I saw some. Tire tracks all the way up to the wall. Is it the 16 maybe? Got some damage? I'm not sure. I couldn't really tell. Something happened there. I saw, I saw the uh, tire tracks heading all the way up to the wall. Sorry about that mild check up there before. I saw smoke and cars spinning. 
Yeah, yeah they spun the right almost. Thing. I should have checked up a little bit too. Nah, I think it was the angle. I don't think you had it in your mirror or in your uh in your oh, windshield. Man, this guy's swervy. I think you're right. Cause they were they were top left for me. Yeah, it all worked out. Oh yeah. Car outside. He lets outside. us go. Clear. Appreciate that. It's not over yet. We do have to get past a couple other lap for, uh, lap cars. Who knows if their handling goes bad at the wrong moment. Can't take anything for granted here. 16 to go. Pretty much held the same gap with the two behind us. Right around five and a half seconds. Guys running up higher. Interesting. Okay, Colton. That's good consistency. Keep it up. Seven almost gets the wall. Or sorry, that's the 17 in front of us. Looked like he was about to go up there and get it. Just keeping an eye on that. Really pushing hard on that right front. Coming on on him. Letting us go. Not sure. Outside. Still there. Hold your line. Not really letting us go. Holding on to us. Oh my God! He nearly gets us. Holy cow! He was way far off the wall in the corner on that corner exit there. That was scary. That's why you give extra room. So I'm kind of sneaking a little closer to my right rear. <laughs> I moved over a little bit. Can't be too careful. No reason not to be. We have so much uh, room to work with behind us right now. are feeling just fine. I think we've done a perfectly acceptable job this second run here. Keeping the tires on it. Poor car ahead of us. He's probably still pulling away from us though because he's the guy that had the fresher tires. Uh, maybe not. Maybe we're reeling him in again. I haven't really been paying attention to the gap. Side-by-side -side battle for 7th in front of him. So if I reach them, I'm probably going to have to be really careful. Maybe even just wait for him if we're close enough to the end of the race. So they can have their battle. I don't get involved in it. Really no reason for me to. If I have the gap to spare. Of course, the nine, uh, P9, catching up to them. So that's the, they're all in the same battle there. I just realized. Uh, kind of spread out a little bit up there, so hopefully not something we have to worry about. I don't know if I'm going to catch him anyway. We're not really uh, making up too much ground. Or it looks like he should be able to get around the 11 without too much issue.
understand. My car just will not run the low line. It's hard to convince the car to go down there, that's for sure. Guy talking about uh, his car won't run the low line. You really got to lift off pretty good, much more than you might expect at Las Vegas, because a lot of other cars like the trucks, or I guess vehicles like the trucks, what I said didn't really make any sense. <laughs> other vehicles like the trucks, almost flat out here. So very, very differently handled racing. Much different. The gap to Kraus behind is in Crixit. It's now 18 seconds. Nothing up to these guys. And I wish I wasn't, but. Ooh, 11 bouncing it off the wall on the back stretch. See, guys are getting loose or tight. They're either doing a loose, like, four-tire slide, or they're getting tight in doing so. Or the wall. You got a really slow car off the pace down low. Be very careful. I don't know why he's holding the bottom line. But we'll get around him. Flap car, you probably don't need to take in the racing line. Oh, that really stinks. The guy in second just lagged out. Outside. That really sucks for that guy. I hate to see that. He was having a great run. Man, that's so unfair. And now we got no one even close to us. We got 20 seconds behind us now. It's back pretty quick, but I mean that there's nothing he can do now. He's probably several laps down. That's so upsetting. So we got three to go coming up. You can see all the way up to third place, I believe, if those are all guys on the on the lead lap in front of us. That's kind of funny. Just taking it easy, rolling the bottom like we have the whole race. A job done. I'll share uh, my setup with everybody Two more. at the go. session afterward. Two if you, go. Just Stay letting me let them know it's just OSR, but you know, hey, gets the job done. So if they don't have a setup, hopefully it helps out. I try to do that when I can. Uh oh, somebody's hitting the wall up there. They're fighting hard, I think, for a top five. Yeah, I'm not going to get involved in these guys' uh, last Real lap. This is the white flag lap. The reason for me to even get close to this because the only thing that's going to happen is I get in a wreck because they're fighting hard. So back off a little bit, let them fight hard on the last lap here. Ooh, he's getting loose. Platform, Newton, See alongside him, run to the line. Not quite able to get around him. That was a pretty good finish though for him. That's a win. All right. Great, job. Well done. Great race, well, guys. Caution free is awesome. That was fun. We didn't, we didn't get one caution, did we? No. Not a one. I don't think we had one at all. Yeah, and I started on pit road and I finished third. Oh, wow. That guy started on pit road and finished third. That's crazy. He probably would have been that was fun, actually. fighting with us if he's that fast. Good job, Randy.
Race one, Colt. Finally catch ya. I burned it up early. Yeah, I was just trying to save it. I knew I wasn't. So we had 69.70 on that final run. I was driving a little harder. Kind of balanced the tires a little bit better, I guess. Maybe some aero type helping us get on the right front more as well. I gotta get better at my pit road entries. Good race, guys. Yeah, that really sucks. <laughs> I'd be in all caps too. That's infuriating. Hate that. Yeah, he was. He was having a great run. Look how clean this race was, though. Only a couple of 2Xs. Probably uh, some out of control, maybe. Uh, I know we've had a couple of slides. Could have just been some big wall contact. We'll see what did happen, but probably not much. That was a great race. What happened to the two car? He blinked out. He was having a great run, too. It really stinks. I wonder if my mic is working. Should be. Uh, we get, we start P2. That's right, the two did have the pole as well. So he had some real speed in the car. Oh shoot, I forgot I was gonna... Share my setup. do that yeah it's just OSR with my steering ratio how I want it I don't even think I messed with the brake bias but pretty much the same thing but if uh, anyone needs it I wish I had shared it sooner though pretty much everyone's gone now but I said I would so I'm gonna do it uh, anyway incidents Let's see 17 into the wall lap 11 and heading to lap 12, some wall on entry it looks like. We'll probably skip past some of the wall hits. We know the 16 goes for a ride later, so we'll, we'll see what that was about. 19 getting tight down low. It's fine though. Whoa. Getting unsettled on him. I think we're probably just getting some tires getting worn. That's showing up for us on the incident, so we'll move ahead until we see some cars near each other. Sixteen getting the wall. Just hold on onto it. It can get really unsettled after you smack the wall or something like that. Five running the wall late in the run. Moving right along, we're into the pit stop territory, I think. There's the two. Seven's getting a little loose. Yeah, there's, there's really nothing to see, which is a good problem to have. It means very clean race. We'll go a little bit faster though, and hopefully not break the thing. Okay, there's me, just tires getting old. Some teams getting the wall pretty good, nearly losing it. Oh, here's one on entry to the pits. I did notice when I came into pit, it did get pretty unsettled when I got on the brakes. This could have been a caution. Thankfully, he's low enough down on the apron. It isn't. He even has to back it up a little bit there. 
So lucky that didn't bring out the yellow. A lot of guys would have been in bad shape. Having to take a wave around, probably. What if we had any more pit entry issues? Maybe even pit exit? That could happen as well. Whoa, the 16. Oh, that's a penalty, too. That really stinks. Yeah, he just kind of gets on that transition, and it pulls him to the left, and it, he just isn't uh, able to react in time to it, and then he hits that cone. That's going to be a penalty, a pit exit penalty on him, and this is what happened. Okay, that's where those tire marks came from. A <laughs> really scary moment for those guys going by, I'm sure, but no caution. He didn't get sideways enough, so it didn't bring out the yellow flag. And it's going to bamboozle the wall pretty good. Moving all along, some big wall hits still. We're almost to the end of this thing though. Three gets the wall a bit. I don't think we're gonna see anything else. Only a couple laps to go. So we'll go ahead and call that done, and it is, because the seven's just messing around afterward. We get the win, lap up to seventh, and, uh, well, we shouldn't have had that margin of victory. The two should have been closer behind us, made about five seconds on him, but uh, nice margin of victory. Got uh, the job done here today. Felt pretty good. OSR provided... Plenty good enough of a setup. We were easy on the tires uh, by riding down low, being uh, careful with them. And we'll see the results page. Only 1634 strength of field, of course, and it was single split, but happy I was able to race regardless tonight. We'll get 15 I rating, 100 championship points. That's pretty much what I aim for when I uh, do a race. Try to get at least 100 championship points, and then I feel like I've uh, had a good run. And uh, we're able to do that, so hey, two thumbs up. You can see here, look at our fastest lap time. 30.5. See the P2? He about a, a tenth faster, fastest lap. And you'll look at like the, uh, the number two car, for example. Half a second faster, fast lap. But uh, I think that probably hurts tires a little bit more. And so I think what you want to do is just be consistent. Try to uh, run those consistent laps, keep the tires happy, and then uh, you can get where you need to go. Which for us here was Victory Lane. Heck yeah. So that'll do it for this one. Thanks for watching. Sorry, not too much action, but uh, we did get some interesting lap traffic and such. And uh, I uh, had fun racing Las Vegas this week. Glad I was able to do the combo. So thanks for watching. That'll do it for this one. Have a good one.